All right, now that we have the Cyclops, what we can do is start exploring a little bit more. We can also look, uh, look at trying to upgrade some of the stuff that we, uh, upgrading some of the stuff that we have. We can get three Magnetite if we go back to that super deep area again, somewhat easily. Um, and I think this is going to be the big one to get. Uh, the fire suppression system would be nice too, but I don't know where we get any crystalline sulfur. Oh, I think I do know, but that's a ways away. Um. The engine efficiency module will be also good to get, but benzene and polyaniline, not sure where to get. Maybe. But yeah. Pretty dope. Uh, drink some water here. Eat some fruit. All right. Also be good to find where the modification station is. I think we have one component, but I don't know where the other one... I don't remember where we got it, but otherwise finding that would be good too. Um, we could always work on getting the prawn suit. Um, I think, I think that should be our next step, is getting the prawn suit, actually. And then we can get this depth module pretty easily. Yeah. I think that should be our first objective, is getting the prawn suit upgrade, or not the prawn suit, the, uh, Seamoth upgraded again. Um, so it can go a little bit deeper. I'll grab some metal salvage. Wait, does this still have metal salvage in its... Oops. In here? Or did I take that already? Aha! It pays to forget. Alright. Cancel that. Get all this stuff going. And then... Uh, was it two glass or... Yeah, it was two glass, right? Oh, and I already have some glass, whatever. Um, we can just decorate the base a little bit, I guess. Plants. Alright, cool. Let's get that depth module really quickly. That in there. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, I don't really need some of this extra material right now. So we can put that away. Let's 
chuck that in there. We have a little bit of extra water, which is good. Alright, the trick here is to see if we can't find some magnetite with this. Looks like the answer is no. Um, either not enough range or something. But we could get more range if we got a bunch of magnetite. Either way. Let us head out. I don't think that this is repairing the Seamoth, although I thought it did. Maybe I need to do something for that. Um, I got the repair tool on the hotbar. Put the flashlight on the hotbar. Cool. Alright. Down we go. Ratings. Um, I'm thinking it may have been a good idea to bring a beacon, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Just gotta keep your eyes peeled on the ground for some small black rock. It's very jagged. Shouldn't be too difficult. Man, these rocks are small. We got one. What do we need? Three? At least? Got some shale here. Some gold. Diamond. If we had the, the prawn suit with the drill, we could get a bunch of magnetite from that rock there, but we do not currently. So, finding the small rocks by hand is what we have to do. And staying away from those snakes. Don't want a repeat of what happened last time we were down here. Alright, so I think this is magnetite number three. That's pretty good. Um, if we keep... It wouldn't be too bad to grab a few more, if possible. Ow. Um, just because if we upgrade the scanner room's range, it might be able to pick up Magnetite down here, in which case finding more would be substantially easier. Give us a quick repair. I think we just made somewhat of a circle. Uh, 
Are you dead or are you bugged? Definitely not dead. Maybe bugged. Um... Some of that bugginess might have to do with the mods. Because I don't remember some of the creatures being this jank before. Go away. Got several pieces of shale here. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, I am not seeing any more magnetite. Um, I don't want to give up just yet though, because like even if we got one more, that might be enough to increase the scanner room's range. Uh, just enough to detect magnetite. I don't know for sure, but I have to keep looking. Nice, we got one more here. Two. Two more? Alright. That's pretty good, actually. Let's try to find the exit. I think is somewhere over here. Maybe. Um, I was kind of using that uh, that light platform as a reference reference point. Um, okay, this is an exit to, this is by the other exit, not the one I was initially thinking of. But that's okay, we'll just keep looking around. Oh, here we go. Wait, nope, that's not it. Pop. Is this it? This might be it over here. This set of lights and boxes. Yep, this is the platform. Calm down. Uh, this is the platform I was looking at. So the exit should be... Out here. Yep. Awesome. You're out of there. Now that we have that, um, like it was three for the sonar. Oh, and we actually got six. That's nice. Huh. 
copper. That's what we need for that. A lot of fish in my base that shouldn't be there. Let's put this here to store the actual extra modules. Scanner room range. And another range. Put one speed. Speed in there. Now let's see. You see now we have a fourth tab. Cave sulfur, copper ore, copper ore specifically. Interesting. Eggs, data boxes, fragments, magnetite. Perfect. All right. So that helped a lot with the range. Just good. Um. Turn these II into food. And then I'm forgetting what the uh, um, forgetting what the Sonar upgrade required besides the magnetite. I want to guess a computer chip. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you. Yep, it was a computer chip. Do we have the resources for that? Uh, we might be missing a copper ore. Copper ore for the copper wire. Because we certainly have enough gold. Yeah, we would just need some more copper ore. Unfortunately. Um, so let's scan for these. Grab some more table coal. Titanium. Copper. I'll just collect a little bit more. Copper wire, computer chip, and 
finally sonar awesome So now, did I not actually equip it? No, I did not. Silly me. Equip the sonar. 